Hello friends, this video on oscillations part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 12 before going ahead with part 13. Now in a similar way, we can calculate the acceleration of the particle executing simple harmonic motion. So again here also we will do, do it by both the methods and we will observe that we, we arrive at the same result in both the cases. So first of all, let us consider the concept of circular motion. Let us say we have a particle which moves in a circular path. Let us again consider that the particle is at some point P at some instant of time. Let us say this is the radius vector. So now let us, just now I told you that the radius of a simple hat or radius of the circular path is equal to the amplitude. So let us denote the radius as A. Let us suppose the radius of the circle is A. So in this case we can say that when a particle moves in a circular path, in the case of uniform circular motion, any particle experiences the acceleration towards the center that is called radial acceleration. So the acceleration is directed towards the center and this acceleration is given by omega square r where r is the radius of the circle. So this acceleration becomes equal to minus omega square a if a is the radius of the circle. And this negative sign shows that the acceleration is pointing towards the center of the circle. Now using this, we will again try to find out what would be the acceleration for P dash, that is the projection of point P. This is P dash. So we want to find out the component of acceleration along this X axis. So if this is A, what would be the component along x-axis? Just look at the direction of A. This is your acceleration A. This angle is theta, that is the angular position of the particle. So this angle is also theta because these, are, these two are vertically opposite angles. Now look at this triangle. So if this is A, this, angle, this component would be A cos theta. So what would be this component? This would be minus A cos theta. So this would be the acceleration of the projection. This is A, this is A cos theta, but it is in the opposite direction. So it would be minus A cos theta, right? So what is theta? Theta is nothing but omega t plus phi. And what is this acceleration A? This, ac this acceleration A is the acceleration of the particle moving in a circular path. It is indicated by P. P would indicate for the particle P, that is the particle moving in a circular path. So this will be equal to minus omega square A cos omega T plus phi. So this is equal to minus omega square. What is A cos omega t plus phi? That is nothing but x of t. So we see that the acceleration is equal to minus omega square x of t. That is acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement. Right? Now, let us verify the same from the SHM end, we know that displacement in case of a simple harmonic motion is given by A cos omega t plus phi. In the previous slides, we showed that the velocity that is V of t is given by minus A omega sine omega t plus phi. Therefore, we can say that acceleration will be equal to dv by dt. So that will be equal to minus a omega square cos omega t plus phi. This is equal to minus omega square a cos omega t 
plus pi. What is a cos omega t? That is nothing but x of t. So we see that acceleration is equal to minus omega square x of t, which is the same as we found in the previous slide. Therefore, we can say that acceleration of a particle executing SHM is given by minus omega square x of t. So what is the conclusion here? The conclusion is that acceleration is always proportional to the displacement. That is one thing. And secondly, acceleration of the particle always act towards the center. Towards the center when the top of the balloon forms circular motion. And what is the center in case of a simple harmonic motion? The center of uniform circular motion is nothing but the mean position of the simple harmonic motion. So from this, from this entire topic, what did we see? We saw that a uniform circular motion can be observed as a simple harmonic motion or simple harmonic motion is a projection of uniform circular motion such that the center of uniform circular motion becomes the mean position of the simple harmonic motion and the radius of the uniform circular motion becomes the amplitude of the simple harmonic motion. So these are the two things which we found. Center of uniform circular motion becomes the mean position of simple harmonic motion and radius of uniform circular motion becomes the amplitude of simple harmonic motion. Now that we have covered this topic, we have also become familiar with displacement, velocity and acceleration of simple harmonic motion. So based on whatever we studied in this topic, we will again try to solve some problems. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thank you once again.